What's up guys, Willie Scottie's back with another video. Uh, I have a pretty big haul today. Um, I got a lot of stuff, a lot of comics I'm excited about that I think I got some good deals on. And then uh, some other stuff that I got a few weeks back, but I'm not sure that I've shown on YouTube. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show those off as well. Um, these, I, this, I'll just show these off real quick. These are all PC books. I saw this at a shop, at, at a store that I don't really go too often, but it's like an hour away. But uh, they have a lot of cool like ratio variants. I think one in 25s, and this is what this is. Uh, but he had it marked at like maybe $30. And I think this is going for a little bit more online. I was trying to decide between this and a Godzilla uh, book, like the Justice League versus Godzilla variant. But this one seemed like a better deal. They're both about $30. But the other one I could get online for cheaper, and this one was actually a little bit more online, so I went with this. This is Predator vs. Wolverine number four, and this is just a badass cover with uh, Predator and all the Wolverine heads on the wall. So I had to get that. That was sweet. That's actually why well, I have a couple holes in the wall. This was on the wall. <clears throat> and then I picked this up on eBay. I've been wanting this for a while, and I got a pretty good deal on it. And it doesn't really come up on eBay super often, um, but I got Predator Hell Come A-Walkin'. And I read it and it's actually a pretty cool story. Um, and this is issue two. And then this is issue one. Really cool book. This one was on my wall from the south, so I appreciated this one a little bit. But yeah, cool cover, cool story. Basically, uh, Union and Confederate soldiers team up to try to take out the Predator because it's hunting them. Um, and it was a short, fun read. Uh, what else? I got a bunch of stuff at... I'll do this first. This was a... I take it back. I'm going to do all the action. I got a bunch of action figures, so this will probably take a couple minutes to go through all of them, or like a minute. But I'm going to show all this stuff off first. I went to Walmart. Actually, I'll show up at GameStop. I went to GameStop and picked this up. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this yet, but this is, I did not realize this was coming out. It's a Gentle, I believe it's Gentle Giant. Yeah, it is. Diamond Select Toys, Gentle Giant, GameStop exclusive, Darth Revan. And with my $5 off, I basically pay like $77 after tax. And online is going, I think the they're listing to like $150. I'm not saying I'm, gonna sell it right away but I gotta decide if I want to keep it or not they do have a Darth Nihilus one coming out so I want to go see if that's like I might get that I, honestly I, if they have come up with a Darth Malik one I would probably keep it I would I'd rather Darth Malik than Darth Nihilus but Darth Nihilus is a little bit more popular but really cool I honestly got it really excited when I saw it so I decided to grab it and then when I was at Walmart I believe that the Walmart near my house they must have not put out this box and they just realized that they had it and they threw it all out. But uh, I picked this up for basically retail, which is like $27. And this is Black Series R Trooper 5s. And online, this is going for like almost $100 new in box. So that was a really good deal. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to keep this yet. I've been debating making a, like collecting Black Series for clones and imperials to be honest i like i would rather do the imperials but i actually have this one was an, is an expensive one and then i have another one that i got at a, a clearance sale that's like an expensive clone so i have a couple of the more expensive ones knocked out so i'm debating on doing that and then they also had i didn't buy them but i might go back and get them the the wave the bad batch wave season two so it was all the Bad Batch, Echo, Tech, um, Hunter, and I forget the big guy's name. All of them in the Mercenary gear. And the three of them were uh, on like clearance. Like I said, I think they just, somebody must not have put them out when they came out. Because so, this wave was a few months old. Uh, it came out in 2023. So I might go back and buy those. And then they have the Clone Commando, like the just the white Clone Commando. And... Uh, it's not on clearance, but it's there. So I'm debating on going to buy those. I don't know yet. Um, it's just another thing to get into. So I'm not totally sure I want to do it yet. So it's one of those things like I might just hold on to it for a little bit. And if I decide I want to get into it, 
I'll just open it up and display it. If I not, I'll just end up getting rid of it. But it was a good deal, so I figured I'd get it just in case I wanted it. And then these guys, uh, I went to a few different Walmarts and got a bunch of different stuff. On, I say a bunch, only four things on clearance. Um, and I'll show these. These were all $25 a piece. And these are all NECA. I love NECA. I'm like really starting to really appreciate NECA. Two packs. And this one is a Walmart exclusive Flash Gordon two pack. It retailed for 60 bucks at the Walmart. It was on sale for, it didn't even really say that like it wasn't in the clearance aisle and the stickers, it just looked like a lot of stuff in that section was on clearance. So I asked, and this one was on clearance for 25. I kind of want to rewatch this movie. If I, cause I watched it a long time ago. If I really like it, I might keep this. Probably not. Um, but I thought it was a good deal and I'm pretty sure it's a Walmart exclusive. And then I got this set. This is NECA, TMNT, Casey Jones and Raphael in disguise so that was 25 bucks this one retails i think both of these retail between 50 and 60 dollars online um about that and then this was an exciting find these two and I, there were more but i tried to pick up the ones that because there was a few that had like a bunch of them out and I'm like if there's like like one of these if they had like four of them out i'm like obviously they weren't really selling um uh, but, and I also was looking at the boxes, a lot of, the, I was only going to get them if the boxes were in nice shape. So these, all these boxes were in nice shape and I had to look up online too, but I got TMNT, uh, two, it's Secret of the Ooze from that movie. And I got both of these for $25. They were basically $27 at the tax, all of them. Uh, Michelangelo and Donatello, and these are retailing for like 80 to a hundred online. This is a really nice neck of figures. So that was good. And then I got one more, one second. This one's Leonardo and Raphael. I mean, I like the Ninja Turtles. Don't know how much I like them if I wanna keep these. Uh, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I'll just try to buy them loose. It's one of those things where I'm gonna open them up anyway. So I might just, you know, make a couple bucks off those and then buy them loose. But yeah, let's get into the comic books now. Yeah, a lot of action figure stuff that just stuff that I thought was good deals and some of it I might keep, we'll see. Um, and then, and basically my mindset is like, I might want it and this is the, probably the best deal I'll ever get on it. So I'll buy it. And then if I decide like, hey, I want to buy like another shelf for action figures and I need to fill it up like one of these shelves or something, like now I have stuff, you know? But let's move on. Uh, this was, I'll do this unboxing first, or I already unboxed the packaging. Um, these are just like the mailers they were in. And these are all Invincible books. And I believe I've paid about after like, like $6 per book. I forget, it was like 60 bucks for this lot, maybe. Something like that. Not 100% certain, but I know it was a good deal. It was Invincible Books, and it's really popular right now. I'm, I'm on episode five of season two. I just started watching the second part of season two. But yeah, let's check it out. So yeah, I paid like six bucks a book, maybe. Like, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, we got Invincible number 17. This is like an earlier issue. Probably low print. But number 17, issue number 23 with Alan the Alien. Really nice. 24. I think some of these are like minor keys. I'm not sure exactly which ones, but I think this one might be actually 25. I believe this is a minor key issue. 34. Twenty-seven. This 
this is a nice cover, 20. Like I said, I gotta look these up, I forget. I don't know exactly, I just know I looked up on Key Collector which ones are keys. It seemed like a pretty sweet deal, so I was like, yeah, let's grab them. 33. I do want the, uh, for my personal collection, the, uh, I don't know if you can see that. I want the Omni-Man version of this one. The, I think it's Kirkham. Uh, 52. So, I don't know how much, I think that book's a little expensive. The Omni-Man, uh, the Homelander one's not that bad, but the Omni-Man one is a little expensive, I think. Invincible 21. They said earlier issues. And I have issue one and two. Um, and then 70. I have an issue one for sale. And that's it. So I thought that was a pretty sweet deal. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it might have been, yeah, about six dollars a book around there, something like that. Might have been a little bit less actually. But yes, let's uh go through this. This book was also uh I got this on Mercari. I love Mercari. Um I got it for a pretty good deal. It's a book that I've never seen before in person, and the eBay listing sold and listings were a bit higher than this one, the Mercari listing. So I figured I'd buy it, and it's one of those books that you don't see very often. It's harder to find, and I can make a few bucks off of it, and it's just something I want to bring. I like to bring because not many people have, not many vendors have that kind of stuff. So this is Cowboy Bebop number one. Um, really cool book. And yeah, it's just something that I thought would be cool to have because I don't think anybody else will have it. And I can make a few bucks off it, so why not? And then, so my uncle and I went hunting uh, this past weekend on Saturday. And I got, first thing I got was actually this book. This is Spectre 54 and an 8.5. Um, I might uncrack it open, I don't know. But this was the first place we stopped. And I was worried I wasn't really gonna find anything that day. So I just bought this and it was a pretty decent deal. Um, and I was like, hey, there's a little bit of spec to this. I think it's a solid deal. It's a nice price on the book. Um, but there's nice spec to it because of the James Gunn universe. I think there's rumors that uh, Mr. Mir Mr. Terrific, sorry, not Mr. Miracle, is gonna be in that James Gunn DC universe. So I was like, you know what? I'll pick it up because I wanna buy something while I'm out hunting, and I don't know if I'll find anything else today. Um, we were gonna make a bunch of stops. But then I went to this store and picked out some nice books, and I was very excited about it. Um, I got this stack of five books for $300 flat. Um, I paid cash. And then uh, I think they, they they look up these prices at the store, but the and it used to be like high, but now they're low. Like the prices are actually better. Um, than what they are on eBay. So I thought, I thought these five books were worth it. I think this may be roughly worth like $500 worth of comics. I don't know, you can let me know what you think, but I think it was a good deal. They actually, the retail, the number they gave me was like 365, I believe. And then he said, I was like, what could you do if I bought them all? He's like 315. And I said, would you do 300 if I paid cash? They said, yes. So uh, we got two books I've never actually had before. Captain America number six, the first Winter Soldier, and this book goes for like I think about sixty bucks, um, or at least they are sales for like sixty dollars. And then I got the variant cover as well, and it goes for roughly about the same price. It's not really more expensive. So those two right there. I got Hulk number one, the first appearance of Red Hulk. This is the Dynamic Forces variant. Um, limited to 1,500 copies, and it is signed. Um, it's got the COA on the back. They He told me like $60 for this book, but I saw listings that were like over 100, like decently over 100. Um, and the solds, I think, were around there too. So this book, they definitely felt like they underpriced. And it's just a really cool variant. Only 1,500 of these exist, and it's a hard to find book. So I thought that was cool. And then I got... The Boys, number one, signed by, this is, I think this is Derek Robertson's, uh, or maybe it's Garth Ennis. I don't know, it's signed. I they He said it was Derek Robertson's signature, but I don't, it doesn't look like his. 
So I don't know, maybe it is, but it's signed. Boys number one signed, it's in really nice shape. So I think the, the boys number one sells for about a hundred bucks, maybe a little bit more. Sometimes you can find them a little bit less, but it's a, roughly a hundred dollar book. So the signature I figured would add, you know, I don't know, I'd probably slap $150 on it and see if anybody would buy it. Um, so there's that. And then definitely the coolest book that I've never seen in person before and I thought I could not leave there without it, especially if I was getting a cool deal on these books, was Batman 679. This, I think it's a 1 in 10 variant, or maybe it's a 1 in 25, but it's a variant of Zuren R. I never, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that Batman, really cool cover. He said, I've never seen this in person before and I thought it was really cool. I mean, I knew of the book. I knew what it was, but, yep. So I thought that was cool. I got those five books for $300. That book's like a $150 book all day. Um, so, yeah, I just thought it was a pretty good deal. So, <clears throat> and then I went to um, a comic book shop yesterday and spent a little bit of money Uh this was, I'll just show off what I got. This was G.I. Joe, Real American Hero. This is a convention special. It was half off, so it was $7.50, and it's signed. So I just thought it was cool because it was a signed book. So, and it, it goes for about, or roughly like $15 online, you know. So I was like, that's kind of cool. And then I picked up these Hellboy issues. I got Hellboy Box Full of Evil, number one and two. Right there. I haven't read back and more of these yet. Right there. I think number one's a key issue. Uh, Daredevil 610, second printing variant, first appearance of Vigil. Uh, this guy, I think this, this like, second printing only has, like, 600 or some copies um, ordered by retailers. This is actually another really hard to find low print book. Then we got the Incredible Hulk versus Superman, Marvel DC crossover. There was, I didn't know this existed, so I thought that was cool. Um, this was definitely for the PC. This one's going to go on the wall. Um, this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. This is the adaptation of the movie. Um, this one, this cover is way cooler than the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one. Uh, so I thought that was cool. This book actually goes for a bit more as well, but... Uh, this one's definitely for the PC. I used to be a huge Power Rangers fan growing up. Sorry about the cutoff. Someone knocked on my door, so I had to go answer it. But let's continue. <clears throat> I also picked up Invincible 139, the cover appearance of Anissa. She just appeared at the end of the show, so this is a popular book right now. And um, I also saw somewhere that this might be her death. I, I haven't opened it up and read it, so I don't know. But yeah, there's that. And then... We got, this was a cool find. Um, I'll show you all the order I found these in actually. So I was looking around, I found this, I found Hellboy, Seed of Destruction. I take it back. I did not, this is the opposite order I found them in. Um, I went and searched and found this, Seed of Destruction number four. I think this is Hellboy's first solo series, uh, number three. And then I saw this one first, number two, for eight bucks. And this is a nice key, first appearance of Ape Sapien. Um, so that's a nice book for eight dollars. <clears throat> and then I found issue number one, which I think is like a $40 book for 10 bucks. So very excited about that. I actually might re give this a read, but uh, yeah, looks really cool. And it was a great deal. So I, got, I don't know what the set's selling for as a whole, but I know that issues one and two have a little bit of value. Three and four might be like $10, $12 books. Um, and then I picked up Darkwing Duck, number seven, homage variant to Detective 27. This book goes between like 50 and 80 online. So I thought that was a good deal. And I thought this was a great price. Star Wars episode one, Phantom Menace. Number three, first appearance of Darth Maul. Again, I think that's a really good price for this book. So I decided to grab that. And then definitely the biggest book I picked up and I did not realize how much this was going for because I've seen this on their wall a lot. Um, 
Star Lord number one. This is volume three. The hip hop variant. This is a Sinkowitz cover. Bill Sinkowitz. Yeah. And this book goes for, there's one sale for a little bit more than this, like 120 ish, 25. But there's, the rest of the sales are like two to 250. So, and the listings are like, there's only like one or two listings that are for like two to 300 dollars. So, a uh, really beautiful cover. Um, I think this book's worth anywhere between two and two hundred fifty dollars. So, I thought that was a pretty good buy. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, a lot of cool books, some cool variants, um, hard to find stuff. So uh, it was a really fun hunt, and that's it. I have a show this weekend, St. Tammany Collectors Con. Um, a lot of these keys will be going there. Um, and then I might be opening up a small. I gotta, I gotta figure that out. I gotta make some calls. But there's like a art crafts i say it's an art craft studio it's like a small flea market indoor flea market and it's something where you just set up your booth and you just you're not there they just sell it and then they give you um your commission um they oh, i'm sorry they take a 15 percent commission and they just send you a check or whatever you sell um and then you gotta pay for the month the space but it seems like a pretty good deal there's a lot of like comic book action figure video game like collector type stuff in there so it would it would really fit into that crowd and they've been in there for a while now so they must be doing all right so it's something that i and the comic books are not that great in there so i think i could really bring in some nice stuff um so i might be getting trying that out um seeing how that goes but yeah uh, but i got a comic con this weekend um, i'm gonna make a video on that for sure um i might try to get some footage of that actually but i'm very much looking forward to that and yeah thanks for watching and see you next time